Good morning, Periscope. I'm not sure mm -hmm. that anyone is listening. I'm not sure that it's, that anyone is out here listening to me this early in the morning, but I have to say this. I want my song rights back from uh, BB Winans. I want my song rights back from Yolanda Adams. I wrote two songs as a young woman. I've written over 300 songs as a young woman. I wrote two songs. Uh, one of them, What About the Children, was recorded by Yolanda Adams. And she says that she bought the song from B.B. Winans. The other song, uh, I Stand, uh, I don't know. I've tried to contact B.B. Winans about the song. It's been a, a, a very, very long process. The songs were written by me um, in Richmond, Virginia, and uh, I recorded them in Richmond, Virginia, and I've been fighting for many, many years to get my rights back through the Justice Department. I've um, gone to the Library of Congress and tried to retrieve the songs that were in a package called This Is Mine. And I've called them, and I've been down there, and uh, no one seems mm. to know what happened to my copyrights. But, um, you know, people are saying that I have been not been a productive person, and they know that is not the truth. Anything that they say about me uh, um, with, with regard to what I've done in my life uh, can be verified. You know, you can't, it, it, my songs were written in a book like Smokey Robinson used to carry around when he was uh, a young man. I had about 300 songs in a book, a notebook, uh, with the scores beneath them. I was a guitar player, songwriter, at a very early age. Even though I didn't play that well, I paid, played basically chords. But I wrote a lot of songs. And uh, people have been uh, very mean about me trying to get give me back to, to get back my rights. And um, as I said, uh, Yolanda Adams did respond, and she said that she bought the song from BB One and uh, What About the Children. And people in Richmond know that I wrote What About the Children. People, when I was teaching school down there as a substitute at that time, they knew that I wrote the song, What About the Children? My former pastor, uh, who was H. Beecher Hicks, read the song one day uh, as I was sitting in his office. He came into the office and he picked the song up off my desk because I was sitting there with uh, one of the uh, assistant pastors. I worked as uh, Ms. Uh, Reverend Dr. Hicks's uh, assistant, and he picked the song up and he read it, and he liked it. I used to practice What About the Children there in the choir room with the choir director. And so uh, the song disappeared from my house in Richmond, and I Stand <clears throat> was a song that I sung in Washington, D.C., I think they had something, a D.C. celebration about something about um, a D.C. day or something. I don't know what it, they called it exactly, but as I said, it was over 20 years ago. And I sung the song for a guy named Bill Welcome. And uh, I was on stage and he listened to it. And he was a promoter at that time. And he uh, listened to me sing the song, but he it, nothing ever came of it. So... I took the two songs home at the time was those two songs and put them in the Bible. They were stolen from my Bible upstairs at my mother's house while I was going to Virginia Union. And I've never been able to get my rights back in many, many years past. And I wrote so many songs. It's unbelievable. Finally, as I said, the 
songbook was stolen from me as I was attending Drexel University. Uh, who was this? What is that? Donald Trump gone something. I don't know what you're saying. But anyway, I was uh, a student at Drexel University um, working on my master's there. And Drexel had a recording studio. And they allowed me to use that recording studio to record about 30 of my songs. And so my teachers at Drexel also knew. He gone something. Please stop that. Uh, anyway, my, my professors at Drexel University knew about the songs that I had written. And um, they heard a lot of them. But anyway... Sing something. What do you want me to say? I have recordings out on Amazon. My name is uh, Reverend Mavis Prince, Reverend Dr. Mavis Prince, Reverend Mavis Prince. And uh, I have songs out on Amazon. The music is not, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, the, the music is not that great because I don't play guitar as well as I'd like to. But um, I have recorded quite a few songs. If you look me up on uh, YouTube, you might hear some of them. Uh, what do you say? Don't ignore me. I'm a... Oh, well, I'll just pray for you. I, I have a lot of enemies, so you know, <laughs> as do most people. But the thing about all this is, um, if you write something, make sure that you get it... Uh, properly copywritten, you know, uh, Philadelphia Sound came down and talked to us at Drexel and they tried to get us to, you know, properly copyright our music. And, uh, you know, the two guys uh, won the Grammy, I think, won Grammys for their songwriting history. But I've met those people. I went by and I talked to them uh, in Philadelphia. I talked to Patti LaBelle's husband about recording my songs and he said, you know, if, if anyone else likes you, you know, you give me some people who like you and I'll record you. But, uh, what about the children? We can save them. We can catch them. If they fall. I, you know, that's the way I start the song. But, uh, that's not the way, uh, that's not the way uh, Yolanda Adams sung the song. She she put her own spin to it. And then I stand, when Donnie recorded the song, um, he changed the words. You know, he liked the title. It's, it's the title. The titles were mine. And no one else at that time had recorded songs with those words. What About the Children is distinctly what I wrote as the title of my song. And so, uh, it's not your song. You can't claim titles. Well, if they took specific words out of the song, if they took specific words and lines out of the song and kept those lines, uh, I think I do have a right to them. I'm not sure how that works, but... My question, what are you saying here? Say that again. It has to be exactly the same for you to claim them. The title or the words have to be exactly the same. You know, whatever. You know what I'm telling you? I'm not sure how it works, but the lawyers told me that I did have a good case. But I had to find my original draft, and that was what I couldn't do. I couldn't find my original draft of the songs because they had stolen that. I wrote a book uh, with the poems uh, in them, as I said. The words you can't claim at a little. There are so many songs with the same name. Well, I didn't understand what you're saying. That has been a problem. But I think I would like to talk to B.B. Winans to have him tell me himself. I'd like to talk to him and have him tell me himself that he didn't. Yeah, you, you won't win, bottom line. But the, the fact is, 
would you not like to talk to someone who you believe has your works? You don't have a case. Singing Washington, what is that? Well, I'd like to have a face-to-face -face conversation with B.B. Wines, and I'd like to have a face-to-face -face conversation with uh, uh, Diane McClurkin, and I'd like to have a face-to-face -face conversation with Yolanda Adams to have them tell me the truth about the matter. Not trying to be negative, just informing you, excuse me, to end the room and you're ignoring. What are you saying? You, I'm ignoring you. Why am I ignoring you? I'm not ignoring anyone. I'm just trying to get my works back, an acknowledgement for my works. We chat, we chat on Skype something. We don't chat anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> God is my judge. You and I don't chat anywhere. You know, if I were not telling the truth, uh, I wouldn't be out here saying this. But if you don't write the song, it's not yours. Well, I did write the song. I wrote both of them. As I said, what about the children? And I stand. And, you know, if I didn't write them, I would have God strike me dead right now. You know, I, I this is a fact. I wrote those songs. You don't write what about... Yes, I did. <laughs> I wrote what about the children. And the Skype something. Yes, I did. I just pray God's blessing upon you. I pray for the people. I know Yolanda. Well, hey, then tell her to call me. I'll talk to her. As a matter of fact, she responded. Her Someone from her staff responded to me and said she bought the song from B.B. Uh, Winans. So, yeah, I, she, she hasn't been uh, negative at all. It's B.B. Uh, um, Winans who's been negative. And um, uh, Donnie McClurkin has never responded. But I did tell him I needed his help. I got on his uh, Periscope one day and told him I needed his help. I wanted my song rights. And so I'm not hiding from anyone. And I'm not trying to uh, spread anything negative about anyone. You're claiming a song you didn't write, though you didn't steal that song from you. How do you know? How do you know? You really don't know. And that's what I said. I'd like to talk to them. I'd like to talk to the two um, artists, three artists, B.B. Winans, Donna McClurkin, and Yolanda Adams. I'd like to talk to them. We need to have a conversation so we can get to the bottom of this. Um, you won't win. You don't say stay in tune. Da -da -da -da. The melody you sung and the words you sung are neither. This is not talking about the melody. We're talking about the words. And that's different. And the title, that's different. And, uh, you know, as, as I heard the songs sung when they were initially recorded, I tried to contact both artists. As a matter of fact, when I Stand was recorded, I saw B.B. Winans, I think, sing the song first on Oprah. And I called the Oprah show and I told them, listen, that's my song. And uh, um, and I, I started calling uh, the artists, trying to find their phone numbers and whatever. The only thing similar is the title, Trust Me, You Don't Have a Case. Well, who is this saying that? Who is that? Let's see. Mr. Cranking Ton. Okay. All right. Listen, as I said, don't waste your time. Let. Stop wasting your time. You wrote I Stand, but. Yes, I did. I wrote that song. I wrote that song, and as I said, um, you won't win the world when you win the world will know. Well, listen.